Hey, hey. Grand rising beautiful people, peace and love. My name is Tierra Charday, and it is time for the divine message for the collective. It is Wednesday the 17th. I hope all is well and you're having a fabulous day thus far. I'm going to take a moment for everyone to get in the room, get ready to share these this message, this video. If this sounds like you, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up and a comment. If this sounds like somebody you know, it is your responsibility to share this video with them, okay? Uh, the links to my YouTube channel are in the description box. Many of you know the Divine Message for the Collective went live every single Monday through Friday on YouTube. Um, I'm currently needing about 30 more followers to get to the 1,000 subscriber mark when I can go live on my mobile device again. I prefer um, to go live on the mobile device. So... Uh, make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you're sharing these videos. I truly appreciate it. Okay. Hey, welcome, welcome. Peace and love. So, yes. So, Divine Message for Collective every single Monday and uh, Monday through Friday. And on Friday, we give you your weekend forecast. Hey, Robert, how you doing? On Fridays, I will be hopping into the Sacred Traveler Oracle cards. I will be pulling one for you guys and reading it with you, okay? So, we'll go over that on Fridays. Hey, peace and love, Kip. How you doing? The link to my website. Hey, Tiana, peace and love, beautiful. How you doing? Uh, the link to my website is in the description box if you need a private session with me. This is for the collective, so this is tapping into the energy of thousands, millions of people. So it may not resonate with everyone. Take what vibes with you and leave the rest. It belongs to someone else. And in the meantime, schedule a private session with me. I could tell you something really specific to you. You know, the key players, what's involved, what's next. Oh, thank you so much, Tiana. I appreciate that support. I truly do. Um, and you guys, hit up Tiana if you need a bomb-ass makeup artist, okay? Like, look, bomb. I cannot wait to get my face done again. Hey, Joseph. Hey, Black Wall Street Radio. How y'all doing? Um... So, for the romance videos for the second half of April, you guys, I am still coming with that, okay? I've just been all over the place with my schedule. I'm truly grateful for the work that I've been doing and the people I've been partnering with. Hey, hey, and hey, Andre. Um, yeah, anytime, Tiana, anytime. Um, I I'm so thankful for what I've been doing. So, um, a lot of projects coming to Bridgeport, a lot of... Um, social media stuff coming on uh, on my platform and others, retreats coming up. So I've been, um, you know, hectic with my schedule. Thank you all for the love and the support. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for scheduling with me. Um, so that second half of April romance for Earth, Air, Fire, and Water Signs will be dropping Probably not today, but tomorrow, okay? The weekend, the latest. And I know I'm a few days late, but um, I've been keeping you updated on this so you guys know what's been going on. So, um, as you know, I have shirts. Look at all this piece. Ascension is the motive is coming out soon. I will be posting photos of that. I know many of you guys have, like, already placed orders, and it's not even on my website yet. So if you are interested in these shirts, I'll get the prices and shipping to you guys. If you are in the tri-state area, Fairfield County, New Haven County, Litchfield County, you can pick up your t-shirts and sweatshirts in person. Okay, so I will be having, um, I will have all that information later on this week, this weekend, on how you guys could get a, a hold of these shirts. Look at all this piece. This has been my hashtag for the past couple years. It's been a way of life. It's so that I always make sure I'm being grateful for what I have. You know, looking at myself, look at all this peace, looking at nature, look at all of that. Like, the love that you have, the family that you have, um, the knowledge that, you, you know, the things that you've gained, the knowledge that you've gained, the lessons learned, all of that. Look at all this peace. That's what it is. And my other hashtag, Ascension is the Motive, that's forward, upward, onward movement. We are here for self-mastery, to grow, to understand ourselves in order to understand others. So Ascension is the motive that will be coming out um, probably today or tomorrow. Like I said, I'll be posting photos. So let's get into it. This could have hap happened already, is happening now, is happening in the future, or it may not resonate with you guys, okay? Take what does, leave the rest. This could be you or the other person, how someone feels about you. Hey, peace, uh, Crystal, how you doing? So this is romance, travel, money. Let's get straight into romance because many of you guys, most of our reading sessions are um, romance-based. So let's get right into that. New love. For some of you, so if you're single, you will be meeting somebody new. 
you have secret admirers. Now, I always like to be clear, especially in my uh, sessions, that just because you have secret admirers doesn't always mean that they're going to approach you. Just because somebody is interested doesn't always mean that you'll be interested in them as well. I need to be clear on that. However, for many of you, your secret admirer or lover interest is on the way to you. That's that's period. And many of you have been coming up to me like, oh my God, you know, you said love was on a way. I didn't believe it a word you said. <laughs> but then next week or two days later, you're meeting somebody new and you guys are dating and hitting it off. So, okay. So just be optimistic about your love life, baby. That's it. Um, be hopeful. So some of you, you're going to have the love come, come, uh, um, coming in. For others of you, I do, like I always say, I see self-love. You're, you're, you're growing your self-love until your partner comes in. So keep doing that. Self-love is key. Um, and like I said, others of you, you're going to have an actual person approach you. You may or may not be interested in them. Some of you have suitors. Um, and others of you, you are interested in this new person. So many of you have just gotten into a relationship and you're like, whoa, this, this, this union is amazing. Um, you're going to, re you're going to receive communication from a loved one. Now, let's stay in the romance. So this could be somebody asking you out. This could be your current partner. Like, hey, we have plans for the weekend. Hey, Jessica, peace and love. We have plans for the weekend. We're doing this or we're going here. This is, this is how we're doing. This is how we're moving. This is who we're meeting. Hey, hey. So, so that's that. For some of you who are in established relationships, you're having communication on how to move forward in the relationship. Some of you are business partners with your romantic partner. Some of you will be going into business with somebody who is later going to be a romantic partner. Or you're going to be romantically interested in this person in some way. Okay? So take, take what vibes with you. Um, if the whole storyline doesn't fit, then just take what fits. That's it. If you're kind of like, yeah, that's me, but that's not, then that's somebody else's story, okay? Um, so money is here. Like, some of you are entrepreneurs. I had a reading last night talking about an increase in finance and work and business. So... You're going to have an increase in your business. You're going to be able to make money. Uh, we've been saying this so much. I don't like to repeat myself, but these when these energies are present like this, I just have to tell you what's here, okay? So many of you are taking on a new product or service. Many of you are expanding your business. Um... If you have a job, you now work in your community. Like, I can use me, for example. Hey, Kate, how you doing? Peace and love. How's your son? Um, I could use me, for example. So, I write. I'm a freelance writer. So, I write for blog posts, websites, things like that. I also do the spiritual work, spiritual practices. So, counseling, tarot, rituals, things like that. And I'm also involved in my community. So I'm a part of community organizations and getting certain things. So this, this is you, this is, um, I am you. So many of you, you have jobs. Many of you are parents, your moms, your dads. Um, you have other projects that you're working on. So you're writing a book, you have a side business, you do hair, you mow lawns, you're a mechanic over here. So some of you are, um, have multiple streams of income or you're building multiple streams of income. And, or um, right now you're taking on things that can bring you more income. So there's different storylines here for you guys. And some of you, it's all, this is all you. <laughs> you have all of this going on at the same time. Um, and on top of that, you guys, I just was steered another direction uh, really briefly. Your spiritual path is increasing. So you're getting deeper into your spirituality. You're getting deeper into your shadow work, into your child work, your inner child work. We talked about that last night. Shout out to those who joined our Tuesday night class here in Bridgeport, our, our wellness, Journey Back to Wellness class. Um, we talked about that, that inner child work is no joke. Going back in and freeing that inner child, comforting that little boy or little girl. Like, it's okay, baby. Like, we're going to grow up and we're going to be the shit. <laughs> We're going to grow up and we're going to be amazing. We're going to love well. People are going to love us. We're going to do great things for the world and for ourselves and for our loved ones. So there's a need for you guys to do that inner child work, do that shadow work, figure out why you behave the way you do, what patterns have you been acting out for years that are no longer serving you, they're no longer for your growth. So 
You guys are on your spiritual journey. Travel. Travel is here. A, a session I had last night talked about career and travel. So many of you are relocating. You're moving to a new home. Hey, Olu Remy, how you doing? You're moving to a new home, a new state, a new country for many of you. Um, you know, you're going... One of my close friends is just returning back to Costa Rica. So many of you are doing that. Some of you are planning your family vacations now. You know, you're like, well, we're going on a cruise in January. That's just what we're doing. Um, and for others of you, this is just uh, forward thinking. So you're like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. When the kids get out of this school, we're going to move here. And then we're going to launch this project, blah, blah, blah. So you guys are getting your game plan in order. Um, for others of you, your business, your career is going to, um, you're going to have to travel for business or for your career. Whether you're an, see, whether you work a nine to five or you're an entrepreneur, entrepreneur, for entrepreneurs, this is this could be you even just traveling in your town, getting things done for your business, traveling out of state, crossing a state line just to get certain products or network with other people. For others of you, this is literally you going from place to place to place to place to place to get messages out, to get like pass out flyers even, to um, go to different locations on your job to speak, meet with people, um... Watch your money. Uh, make sure you have your money in order. I feel like many of you do, and you're you're starting to do that. So you're starting to learn what it means to be financially stable and all of that. But something as it relates to travel, make sure you have enough money to travel. Don't get don't get caught out. That's you know that's not to scare you. That's just you know just make sure you have all your bases covered. You know what I mean? You know, if you're going to go on a camping trip, you're going to want to have first aid and water and all of that stuff, right? Matches. Hey, Sammy, how you doing? So it's the same concept for life. Just make sure you're prepared. So if you're traveling, you want a full tank of gas. You want to make sure your car is in order, the insurance is paid, your license is up to date, you have toll money, you have money for food, you have water in your car. You know, just make sure. Hey, Malcolm, just make sure you have everything. Uh, money and travel came up. So... Yeah, watch your money, make sure you have enough for travel, but also many of you could be getting paid to travel. Like if you're speakers, you could be paid for that. Or if you're on if you're going on a retreat, you're a spiritual practitioner and you're hosting a retreat or you're invited to teach a workshop on a retreat, workshop at a retreat. <laughs> this is you getting paid to travel. So they're kind of going to cover your plane ticket. Speaking of that, you guys, business travel, you guys are connecting with some major players here in the spiritual world, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, so you're connecting with like minds, you're connecting with people that you're going to be doing projects with. This could be whatever, any project. If it's on your job, if it's spiritual project, if it's a collaboration in music, if it's you know, um, an anthology you're writing, like whatever it is, there's a collaboration here. You're connecting with people who, who are right in alignment with you. You guys are able to build security and stability together, like an empire, an empire. That's it. Some of you are building an empire. Hey, Indigo, how you doing? Um, some of you are building an empire. You're building a legacy, and I, I don't feel like you're alone. Or or maybe some of you planted a seed alone. You, you built some of the foundation alone. But you're not alone right now. Or you will no longer be alone. So you're going to be sent people who can help you build. Who can help you create. Who are interested in the same things you're interested in. Oh, you want a community garden? You're going to meet like 80 people who want a community garden too. Okay? Like real talk. You want um you want a business in your neighborhood, you're going to meet people who can sponsor you, who can partner with you, who can help you clean it up, who can help you, all right? You're going to receive that guidance. Don't ever feel alone. So that's another thing. Make sure your thoughts are clear. Make sure you're in alignment with what you want to create. If you want abundance, stop thinking about not having enough money to pay the bills. Hey, Queenie, peace and love. If you want love, stop not showing yourself the best love. Okay, so you guys want the abundance, think 
in abundance. You know, not like, you know, um, they always say when manifesting, you want to say, I have, I am. These are present words, current words. I am amazing. I am successful. I am this and that. I'm compassionate. I'm kind. I'm just. I'm fair. I'm diplomatic. I'm whatever you need to say. Trustworthy. It's the same thing. So you can say, I'm financially stable. I manage my money well. I am building a legacy. Like, keep saying this to yourself so you can create that, so you can pull this in. Be confident in yourself. Confidence is key here, you guys. Um, Especially when it comes to manifesting the reality you want. You have to literally believe that you are able to do this, that you deserve it, that you earned it. It is your birthright. You have to believe that when it comes to manifesting. So as it relates to love, like I said, many of you have love coming in. And it's because you've been doing yourself work. Like, I, like I've been saying, there's something that is earned here that is happening with you guys. This is just not a kawinky dink. This is like, no, you actually put in this work all this time. You know all that heartbreak and BS that you had to deal with in the past? Well, you learned all those lessons. You passed these tests and now you get this. You learned the lessons. You're here to fulfill a certain um, mission in life. You know, it could be that in your soul's contract, you were supposed to go through a horrible romantic relationship. You had to. You signed up for that. And it's so your soul, soul could learn a very valuable lesson in this life. Now that you've learned that lesson, now you get everything. It, it, it's like that. It be like that. Like, I go over your guys' soul's purpose and your north node and your midheaven, and it's, like, literally like that. Like, it'll say that. You may have had a shaky childhood. But in your 30s, you're like everything now. Like you you are a mover and a shaker in your community, the spiritual world. They love you. It happens like that for many of us. So like I said, some of the things or most of the things that you're being gifted now, you earned it. So understand that. You have to say that to yourself like, I am enough. I'm deserving. We talked about that in last night's class here in Bridgeport as well. Knowing that you're worthy. And in the workshop, we held up mirrors. Um... Shout out to Leani. We held up mirrors and we spoke to ourselves and we talked to ourselves. Like, I am amazing. I am beautiful. I am strong. I am so proud of all of my accomplishments. Like, I am so excited for the future. You know, say that to yourself. So many of you, this is your homework. <laughs> and I did not plan this before the video, but I feel like we all need this. Look in the mirror and say loving things to yourself. Sometimes it could be uncomfortable looking yourself in the eye. It's like, okay, like, I feel stupid. Or like, wow, like, somebody's really staring back at me. This is intense. It can get uncomfortable. It can, you can feel silly at times. But do it. Do it. It's one of the things that I did to heal, to acknowledge myself. I wasn't doing that. I was like, okay, like, I'm a great person, but whatever. But I had to look in the mirror like, yo, like, I actually like these bushy-ass eyebrows. Like, I think they're kind of dope. I had to look in the mirror and be like, yo, you know that thing that happened to you that wasn't cool? But right now, you know, I got your back. Like, some of you need to talk to yourself like that. So that's, um, for some of you, that's your homework. Look in the mirror and talk to yourself every single day, all day if you can. I talk to myself all day. And I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if I look crazy. You know, sometimes it's just an internal conversation. Like, okay, you good, baby? All right, you cool. You had a weird thought right there. What was that thought? No, 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 no. Let's bring that thought back. What was you just thinking? Nah, you don't need to think that. You tripping. Like, have this dialogue with yourself. Like, you're nervous? Why are you nervous? Because you think you can't do this? Like, you actually can do this. And actually, you've done this before. Like, what are you tripping about? And then I'll be like, oh, all right, you right. <laughs> and then I go about my business. Or I handle what I need to handle. So many of you, you are needing to do that. Many of you are doing that. So keep it up. Um, hmm. I'm just trying to see what else comes. Many of you, you're needing to tell somebody that you love them. Ooh, see, now that's flip side. Because before I felt like somebody was going to pursue you. But others of you, you're needing to express how you feel about somebody. About yourself, number one, express to yourself how you feel about yourself. Because you're the most important. I don't care what anybody says. It's not selfish. You really have to make sure you're good. 
But for others of you, you are needing to and you are going to express how you feel about somebody. Whether this is romantic or this is family love or a platonic, this is with friends. You're encouraged to express how you feel. Without shame. Hey, Sandra, peace and love. Without shame. Fully, just fully give it out. Um, follow your intuition. Some of you, you know. Like, if you've been wanting to say something to someone. This is who. I'm talking to y'all. You felt it on your heart. That, man, I need. I just need to talk to this person. I need to tell them I'm sorry. Or I need to just tell them I forgive them. Or, you know, this is the situation. But whatever. Like, whatever your situation is. Those who vibe with that. You are encouraged to move forward. Your intuition is on point. Yes, you should talk to somebody and tell them how you feel. Hey, Chanel, peace and love, beautiful. Um, many of you, you're going to be establishing security, so you're going to be receiving money, surprise money, a surprise gift, an offer of some kind, an invitation of some kind. If it's business-related, it's, it's looking good. If it's love-related, use your discernment. Um, oh, thank you so much, and I love you too. Um, if it's, yes, whatever the situation is, use your discernment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I, like I was saying, if this is love, if you're just telling your romantic partner that you love them, it's just you flowing like that, it's safe. Use your intuition, but I'm feeling like for many of you who vibe with this, it's safe for you to say how you feel, what's on your heart. Many of you, if you felt like in the past you couldn't do that, you felt like it wasn't safe, you are um, being steered into a safe space to say things like this. We talked about that last night as well. Okay, so maybe I didn't mention it. Every Tuesday here in Bridgeport, Connecticut, um, Conscious Creators Bridgeport Innovation Center, we have a wellness class. Every Tuesday, 7 to 9, currently it's 7 to 9. Oh, that's beautiful, Chanel. I'm happy you vibe with this. It's, it's 7 to 9. Um, we talk about a bunch of things, but mostly spirituality, wellness, holistic lifestyle, you know, what that means, chakra, balancing, meditating, healing, why you need to heal, how to even know that you need it, right? We talk about this. So, ha um, oh, wow, yeah. So, many of you are needing that. You're needing that safe space. So we are building that here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. All right? we're This is what we're doing. Um, so if you're close coming out, we're, we're working on making the class virtual. So we're going to have these classes recorded. So if you're not in the area, many of you hit me up from, like, the Midwest and down south. You weren't able to make it all the way here to Connecticut every Tuesday. So we're going to be providing it um virtual you can uh, download it or access it and i'll give you more information on that so like i said many of you are needing a safe space to just be you to just cry like i cried last week i teared up yesterday because the healing is real and yes i do it on my own but it's something to be said when you're meeting with a group of people just like you and you're crying together, and you're sharing your stories together, and you're going through the pain together. That's major. Humans, we need each other, period. We vibe on the same level. You cried this morning? Yeah. There is power in crying, letting it out, letting out the pain, letting out the joy. So don't be afraid to cry. Don't be afraid to let that out. So many of you, you're looking for safe spaces to do this. Like I said, Bridgeport, Connecticut, we have one that I know of for a fact. And I'll be um, announcing more as I find them. Now that I've returned back from Costa Rica, I've been hopping back into the community here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. So I'll be updating you guys on what's going on and how you could get in where you fit in, okay? So, um... So that is all, my beautiful people. That is the divine message for the collective. I hope it vibes with you. Make sure you're sharing this. This will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed, click the link to my YouTube channel, please. Um, and subscribe to my channel. Like the videos. Click the bell so you know when I'm uploading new content. Um, I need a 1,000 subscribers to continue to go live on YouTube. That's where I started the Divine Message for the Collective. And again, it's so happy to unite with my Facebook fan because I did start my whole social media career on YouTube and, um, excuse me, on Facebook. I started my live videos here on Facebook. So 
You guys are my fam. So, um, again, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube, go to my YouTube and subscribe. The 1,000th subscriber gets a free reading. I have a $10 reading special for ages 18 to 22. You guys have been taking advantage of that. The link to my website is in the description box. You refer two people to me, you get $15 off of any service. The manifestation rituals do come with a consultation. Um, the retreat. Pine Mountain, Georgia, Callaway Gardens, we have a villa for August 16th through the 18th. I will be there. I will be doing divinations. I will be discussing your soul's purpose. Uh, we will be having a body movement workshop led by me. So we'll be dancing. We'll be moving our chakras around quite a bit. We have plant-based food. It is vegan friendly. It's by High Priestess Yafa Yamima. Many of you guys who follow me also follow her. You guys know she is incredible. Amazing results. Um, with her spiritual work, and she has her own holistic center in Atlanta. So come on, you guys. You got to come out and support. If you are in her area, make sure you're scheduling at her center. She does amazing things, okay? Um, so that's that. The Journey Back to Wellness, again, every Tuesday here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Um, we have another class, another series that we're hosting. We'll be announcing that this week, so I'm really excited to share that with you guys. Um... And that is all. Yeah, I think I said everything. Okay, beautiful people, that is all. I hope you have a fabulous day. I will see you here tomorrow. Peace and love. Mwah. Have a beautiful day.